we're going to talk about traditional French recipes, recipe. which are oh so good. I mean, the recipe we are going to do um, today is called Bécasse sur canapé. Bécasse is the woodcock. Wait a minute. Bécasse. 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 Bécasse okay. sur, sur on canapé, and canapé is, is a couch. It means every time the French will fix something uh, and put a toast under it, they call it sur canapé. This recipe that we're making today, you're making with woodcock, but we can use for any upland game. You can use you can use for uh, you said doves. Dove, doves, it's very very good. I I did it with doves. Grouse and, uh, and grouse too. Grouse quail. and quail. Something important I wanted to say too. Don't mix because sometimes you go out and you shoot two woodcock and, and a grouse. Don't mix the bird. No, don't. I mean it's they, yeah. it's a total different bird and uh, well you know quail and woodcock. But the ingredient is uh, the base is a little bit of lard, uh, a lot of garlic, a little bit of a little bit of whiskey. Uh, the birds and the bread for canopy. I mean the key is the skin. You re really have to leave the skin on the bird. I mean you will not eat a, a, a I mean when you go buy a chicken, you know, it's the skin is in there. When you get a turkey, the skin is in there. There's a reason. It's because the skin really locks the flavor, flavor in and, and it's a lot you know, moist and, and if you take off the skin, uh, you know, it's a little bit more work. But it not, it's not that bad because the woodcock are, you know, it's easy to plug. It's not terribly labor intensive. No, I mean, you see how, how fat they are. Yeah, that is a big piece of yeah. meat on that. Yeah. So essentially what you've done is taken the, the, the feathers off it around the parts that we're going to eat. Yeah, and uh, so I cut this like that. And usually cut this this way. The head. And you just basically burn all the little feathers, and uh, and I can remember. I mean, that smell always, that smell of burned feathers. I mean, I can remember my dad, you know, doing this, and when you're a little kid, you can smell. It's kind of unusual. So, where did he hunt in France when you were a little kid? Which part of France? Uh, southwest, in in Bordeaux, in the Bordeaux area. Now one thing I have noticed here, and I don't know, I don't know what you can do about this. That bird has not been gutted. Uh, no, not yet. Very simple. Yep. And from there, take everything, take everything out. And so I need to rinse it a little bit. Okay. So this is a um, this is a French uh, cast iron. This will help uh, the cooking to be very very even. Something interesting here is we're going to use garlic, but we don't peel them. If you peel them, they'd be all smooshed in, in, in the pan. So basically, you let you let it probably five six minutes, three four minutes there. Okay, we got the salt, pepper, the whiskey. Good. Yeah, it's I mean garlic like very hard to be. A little bit of pepper. You put the top on maybe three or four minutes. So this is basically the couch. You know. And uh Have a canopy? Yeah. Canopy. Uh, so I will uh, put maybe half glass. Okay. You know the bread and the butter and. That's the couch. Okay. I 
And once it's done, turn it off. Uh, let's have the bread. Sauce. You take a bird. Take your bird. You mm -hmm. let them set for four to five days in the refrigerator. Uh -huh. Now, if it's woodcock, let them set four or five days. If it's grouse or quail, maybe a couple of days. Okay. Doves, same thing, a couple of days. Take these, pluck them, mm -hmm. gut them, um, set them aside. You took your candle and burned the rest of the feathers off. Then you put in your pan some lard and some whole garlic without taking the outside of it off. You pour a little bit of bourbon in there. Then when that's properly done for, you said about 14 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Take your bread, toast it, put it in the oven. And then you take your garlic out, spread it on the bread, and then take a little bit of the juice and pour that into the bread and there you have it. That's very simple, but man does that smell good. Now here's the tough part of my job. I want to have to take this over here and sit down and try it. Oh, that's good. And there's a lot of meat in the legs. Mm. They're small, but... Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. The color is pink. I think it's, it's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You gotta use your fingers, but... That's fine. Let me shake your greasy ham. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks very much. This is excellent. This is... Bicas sur canapé. Woodcock on a couch. That is excellent. I may never brush down another bird again.